in Italy, they're probably like, yo, sh- show me that video <laughs> of those American cops beating the shit out of those unarmed Highly American citizens. Highly entertaining, yeah. It's, I mean, yeah. I, if I were in, in Europe, I'd be like, yo, this shit, is this really how it goes down? Do they yeah, it cops? is because it is. Uh, the Lion King got resuscitated. You know, the it was it was a uh, it was a it's a franchise that seemed like it just wasn't doing anything for years, and then they just brought it back to life. You know, uh, but at least they waited some amount of time, right? You know, they waited a little bit before they brought it back. They didn't do that for cops. No, no, they did not. No, we thought cops was dead. We thought it was over. We thought it eh, this bad wasn't boys, happening anymore. Bad boys. Yeah. What you gonna do? Yeah, and it's and it's actually a shame that they just keep using that too, right? Because mm-hmm. they like they got this, you know. I'm assuming he's Jamaican, uh, the dude who... who uh, the guy it. who recorded that song? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm sure at some point, the artist who recorded that song, um, which is the theme song for the uh, for the Cops uh, yeah. s- uh, TV series, I'm sure at a certain point he was like, you know what? I don't know if I'm comfortable with you guys using my music for this series. They're still but, using it. So. But those residual checks, very comfortable. My family's not arguing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this house is paid for by, the, by those residuals. <laughs> both wrong. Because it's Will Smith and Martin Lawrence's song. It's not well. Okay, uh, it, yeah, it, it is. It yeah, is. It, no, it's not their song at all. I, that, that was, I can't. I can't uphold this at all. I can't abide by this joke. Wouldn't you be pissed uh, if you made this song? Yeah, I know. People, I, I put my heart and soul into writing that song, and then you know Will Smith long? and Martin come along like that. <laughs> but, but, they didn't even take it seriously. What you gonna do? <laughs> And then that's how people remember the song. <laughs> You'd be so pissed. I'd be but, so angry. But again, you're getting those residual checks. Yeah, yeah so. so it smooths things over a bit. Yeah. Okay, so uh, jumping in quickly, uh, reading an article here from The, the Rap. Um, so nearly four months after it was canceled by Paramount uh, Network, Cops uh, has quietly resumed production in Spoken Oak uh, County, Washington. Uh, the Sheriff's Deputy Department, uh, Spoken Oak, uh, confirmed Thursday that two cops film crews have been writing with the county sheriff office in spoken oak valley deputies since september uh and will do so through december um here's a quote from him um we have a long-standing relationship with cops and langley productions and we are pleased that they uh have decided to return the sheriff's office said in a press release uh, the episodes will not air in the u.s but are being produced in order uh to fulfill contractual uh commitments the series uh has with international territories where it airs uh right for the show's producer and langley production told the rap uh to read a little further uh cops ha- uh, was canceled after 33 uh, 30, ah, 33 year run um by the the Paramount Network uh, and the nationwide um, uh, a- a- amid the nationwide protest against police brutality after George Floyd was killed by uh, Minneapolis police officers. Um, Annie has canceled its top rated Life BD, which also followed officers on patrol. Um, I'll, I'll let you respond and then I'll. I'll comment so there's that. this is for me, it feels like one of those things where it's like, well, if I don't do it or if we don't do it, somebody else will. Sure. Right. There's never been a time in U.S. history. In where in which police weren't beating the shit out of citizens, right? Sounds accurate. Never been a time in U.S. history, uh, so it's like, uh, who who, uh, who 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 does this again? The CBS, uh, the Paramount Network. Paramount, yeah. yeah. Paramount was like, if we don't film re- cops whooping people's ass, somebody else will, and we're not going to walk away it. from that money. Yeah, well, we're, we're not going to show it here. It, we'll show so it out over in Europe. Get get those euros. And I guess like it's a weird thing, right? Because it's like, okay. Why is there a why are you worried about your international uh, contractual obligations when you just can't like they have contractual obligations for the U.S. territory, right? Mm-hmm. That they said, hey, we're going to produce a show and then all these protests happen. And then we were like, yeah, we're not going to do that anymore. Right. So what what is different? It, like that, it, That's like some bullshit about like that's like, you know, this is going to be a weird political reference. But like that's like, you know, uh, when uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg died. Uh, and the Republicans were like, oh, yeah, like, let's, yeah, why don't we just, uh, we can elect somebody, you know, even though the president, you know, we're about to have an election in like a month, right? It's fine. But then you go back to 2015 when Obama wanted to, uh, you know, uh, nominate somebody for the Supreme Court, um, and they're like, oh, no, we can't do it. It's it's right before the election. <laughs> we can't do it. What are you yeah. doing? Like, and it's just like, what is this blatant hypocrisy that you're trying to sell as like, no, this is, no, yeah. this is a real thing. It's like, no, this is bullshit. You're sending me. You're selling I, me bullshit. I think they're they're selling it based on appetite, right? In the U.S., the appetite for this. No, you know, that's exactly my point. Is is that so? Your cancellation of it is bullshit, then, because oh yeah, it's not like you're canceling it because you're like you're right. This is fucked up. You're canceling because it's like all right, fuck. Now I, I will these admit, assholes aren't going to take this anymore. I will admit they did fool us, right? Because we thought they were canceling it 
you know, for the right reasons, right? Uh, no, we were, didn't. <laughs> uh, well, no. For the most part, like back when we talked about this in July, when they were ca- canceling the show, we thought it was like, okay, you know, the American consumers, American viewers have become sensitive to seeing this type of stuff on TV and they're canceling it for the right reasons. They're no, like, you no, know who no. hasn't? We were wrong. Mm, these uh, Italians. They, I don't even yeah, know. Yeah, they, they, they know They've secretly been filming because there's still a foreign appetite for it right in america we love foreign we love mercedes and audis and and those foreign cars right uh overseas they love fords and 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 uh and fucking dodge durangos and do they whatever and chevy silverados do do they uh yeah yeah american cars are huge in in um overseas right so while we don't have an appetite for cops here yeah in Italy, they're probably like, yo, sh- show me that video <laughs> of those American cops beating the shit out of those unarmed Highly American entertaining. citizens. Highly yeah. entertaining. I mean, I, if I were in, in Europe, I'd be like, yo, this shit, is this really how it goes down? Do they yeah, it is because it is beat the shit out of unarmed citizens. It is like a window. But here's my thing. It's like it's had a 33 year run. There's nothing you're doing differently in year 33 that you've done differently in year like five. Well, like, no, so here is the difference, right? Yeah. Now it's like, they're beating the shit out of them and wearing body cameras. <laughs> so they're recording the beatings themselves while they're being. It does add a little bit also. of a, a little it's, bit of a, some sauce now, on top. Now, yeah. if you're watching it in Italy, you're now like, there's, you're there's no mind. way the this cop is, yeah. is going to get acquitted of those charges. He recorded himself. <laughs> and doing then he it, does. And then he gets Practice. acquitted. You're like, Holy it's crazy. Yeah. I got to see the next mind blowing TV. <laughs> yeah. What's going to happen? So that's actually my point. Um, my point to why cops is a shitty show. And it's because of uh, some comments that this sheriff, I guess, had, right? Shows like Cops highlight the work of law enforcement. They show even for a few minutes what the men and women out protecting our communities deal with day in and day out. So he had those comments, right? And that's when it kind of like clicked to me of like exactly why it's such a fucked up situation, right? That they're showing cops. Like I never really, I never really gave a shit about cops. Like maybe when I was really, really young, it was like someone entertaining. I was like, oh my God, this is, this is some wild ass shit, right? Yeah. And as you get older, you're just like, what the fuck am I watching here, right? Like you, you just, I, or at least I just like really like lost interest. I didn't give a shit. It was like cops was like, if, if I was extremely bored and there was, I couldn't change the channel. Like the remote was like somebody broke yeah. it. Remember those teams yeah. where you had to go up to it and change it? Like, yeah, with the dial. that was the yeah. only way that I was watching cops. Um, but uh, it, what what I realized is is that that's why it's so fucked up that that they only show it from one perspective, meaning that they don't show the dirty cops, right? Of they they show oh yeah these nice cops that are you know they're going around and they're catching these bad guys. And, but did you show when the cop you know was planting that evidence you know and you know they uh, no, they they, they, got, they got the footage no, they had the footage they edited out they clearly yeah, yeah they they re edited they you know, uh, hit delete on that one exactly um and so it's like but that's why it's so that's why it's all propaganda right because it's showing the cops as like always heroes and for thirty three years they showed the cops as heroic. Mm-hmm. When they're, you know, they're not always heroic. In fact, we know from, you know, fucking reality yeah. that they're definitively not always heroic, right? Yeah. And we talked about this like uh, back in, uh, I think it was like July. Um, can you imagine in those 33 years the amount of footage they've captured of police officers breaking the law, violating citizens' and, laws, and it, planting evidence, uh, uh, and they just get rid of power? They're yeah. just like, you know, they probably have it somewhere still. Or they may just say, hey, we're not, we don't, we don't even want this, yeah. right? Let's just delete, delete it that. immediately. Yeah. Edit it out, delete it. We don't want it. Exactly. But again, that, that's We've got these point. Ford commercials on the show because they're <laughs> yeah. our number one sponsor for these <laughs> what you police cars. Um, but, uh, but that again, that, like, that's why I realized like, yo, like I never was like against cops. I just never gave a shit about it. But that's why I'm like, now, nah, like, no, nah, this shit's got to go. Yeah. Because it's just like, it's nothing but rank propaganda for cops right like yeah. it's nothing but just showing cops is like yes they're they're apprehending people and most of the shit they do is fucked up they just people who are like tweaked out on fucking like meth they're like roughing them up and like i got this guy and he's like dude i'm just high like what do you yeah the, the majority of these situations should not actually even be handled by cops it should be yeah. handled handled by people Oops. who are equipped to deal with uh like mental illness right yeah a lot of these again it's drug dealers it's people or not drug dealers it's people on drugs on pcp heroin well, they might do uh, or people just with like disturbing the peace right there should be like mental health uh or uh, social workers uh who are trained to deal with like people with mental health issues yep. ad- addressing these but nope send the cops yeah bring the camera yeah let's put it on tv yeah uh so yeah unfortunately you know uh cops is still they, they're fulfilling their contractual obligations yeah. so to speak so yeah I that shitty show italy. is i don't uh, know why we're talking <laughs> yeah right no now. why is it only italy too? you know, what, you know what i've never liked countries. italian food 
I don't know what the fuck you're talking. What do you you eat fucking you you don't eat spaghetti meatballs? You know, I prefer just the meatballs. Okay. So like what do you I don't, <laughs> I don't like what the I, fuck I, are you talking I, about? I don't really like spaghetti meatballs. <laughs> like, okay. If you're like, hey, let's go to an Italian restaurant, I've never been like, yeah, let's go. Uh, it's strange to me, but okay, whatever I don't like your all book. that fettuccine and pasta and ravioli. And oh, stuff. you are you're like lactose intolerant. And I'm lactose intolerant too. Yeah, I, I just yeah. I don't even like tomatoes. It's fucking tomato sauce on everything. Okay. I, 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 don't, I don't know what to do with this. I don't I don't know how to yeah. handle this situation. I just thought I, we're, so we're, I'm just gonna move on. We're attacking Italy, I figured I'd attack Italian food too. I, I mean that's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I guess at, you, least, at least I'm consistent. You are, yeah. That's uh, we at least <laughs> I have to be excited about that. <laughs>